All right, good evening. Welcome to East Texas Now. Billy Collins here with you. We're joined live this afternoon via Zoom by State Representative Travis Clardy of Nacogdoches. If you were watching our newscast at 5 this afternoon, you saw that mention of a cease and desist letter that was sent to Representative Clardy from the Abbott campaign. Uh, the Abbott campaign is accusing Representative Clardy of somehow misrepresenting an, an old endorsement from the governor. Of course, the governor in this race is uh, not endorsing Representative Clardy. Representative Clardy, uh, you are among the many House reps that the governor is not endorsing because of your decision over school vouchers. Wanted to give you a chance to respond to this letter from the governor's office uh, that you actually did not know about until I sent it to you a few hours ago. Yeah, first off, Blake, thank you uh, for reading my mail. Uh, until I got your text, and I'm going, what are you talking about? Uh, I've not seen it, hadn't heard about it. One of my colleagues, Drew Darby, a dear friend of San Angelo, had gone through this escapade a couple of days ago. Uh, but, you know, you sent the text, had not seen the letter. I've since reviewed it, but uh, I, I've got nothing to cease or desist about. You you would think, uh, you know, it's one lawyer to another. Uh, I would have had the courtesy of a phone call at least. But uh, it, it, this is this is about the silliest thing I think I've ever seen, Blake. Uh, you know, what, what's really crazy about it, I had my office when you called them on the road. By the way, I'm coming to you from Tyler. We, we were on our way over here to see grandkids. So if you're yelling in the back, you know, that one of our boys has the flu. So, uh, but as we, you know, as, as I got my staff to look into it, they, they actually found that all of these things that they're complaining about are actually on the Abbott campaign website. I'm not sure what they expect us to do. If you go on my website, you're gonna have archived historical documents, letters, bills, et cetera, et cetera, going back 10, 12 years. I don't go back and purge those things. That's part of the historical record. Uh, and on, on this, I mean, I, do they expect me to go get my scrapbooks and start shredding newspaper articles? It's just absurd. So I, I don't know why the, the governor has seen fit to do this. Uh, I'm not claiming uh, Governor Abbott's endorsement in this campaign. I have had it in the past but uh, I don't have it in this campaign for a very simple reason. Uh, the governor made it very clear throughout this session. He had, I, he had no interest in talking to me or to us. Uh, he did not want to have a, a, a reasonable, uh, educated discussion over vouchers and school choice and how we're gonna get our teachers a pay raise. Instead, what he wanted to do was threaten us and to bully us. He actually vetoed one of my bills for no reason other than I would not bend the knee, I would not kiss the ring, uh, and I would not betray the oath that I took to the, the Constitution to represent the folks in my district. If I'm guilty of anything, it's a voting my district and do what I believe is in the best interest of the school children, the kids, and the teachers of East Texas. And if that's the charge, I'm guilty. But the, the notion that to get his endorsement, Blake, would have asked me to betray the people I represent, and that's a price I am unwilling to pay. And Representative Clardy, uh, you know, the only thing we can figure out is on your website, there's that old quote from the governor. Uh, it, it doesn't have a, a date on it. it. We know that no campaign material that you've run in this campaign for re-election includes any claim of an endorsement. Your opponent is huh? certainly using that endorsement in her advertisements. Uh, that being Welcome said, to it, Blake. That being said, do you, I mean, uh, you mentioned that you're not alone in this. Uh, Drew Darby also receiving one of these cease and desist mm -hmm. letters. Would you say, considering it's coming from the Abbott campaign, the timing, purely political in motivation? It's absolutely political. And I, and I don't know what happened. When we got into this, we we, we pulled, went back and found an endorsement of, of Abbott where we, he actually shoots at their studio with the governor's expense, paid for by Governor Greg Abbott, me and him sitting there bragging on me for, you know what I was trying to do? Take care of getting teachers pay raises. I don't know what's happened. I haven't changed, Blake. I don't know what's happened to the governor. I know we went through COVID. I know he was given extraordinary powers. He was able to do things. I think he still he still has those emergency powers, which he exercises freely. Something's changed. He, I, I'm still in the same place. We're still doing the same thing. I still believe in our people. He's got a whole lot of new friends. And most of them have bees in front of their net worth. And that's, you know, I, my, my friends are still the friends of the six counties I represent, the folks I know here in East Texas. He's got a bunch of new friend billionaires. You know, he's got six million reasons, I suppose, not to endorse me recently. That's fine. If that's what he chooses to do, if he wants to go to India and, you know, sport around a Nehru jacket, that's Governor Abbott's prerogative. You know, if he wants to do that instead of going down to the border and fixing the problem, that's his prerogative. But I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back here. One, I'm going to play some grandkids in a few minutes. 
But after that, I'm going to continue to serve the people of East Texas, honor my, my constitutional oath, and I'm going to do what I can to take care of our teachers because they deserve our best. State Representative Travis Clardy of Nacogdoches is joining us, as he mentioned, from Tyler this evening. Representative Clardy, thanks for making the time for us and uh, enjoy the time with your family. Thank you. Something tells me we'll be doing this again soon, Blake. All right. Representative Clardy, appreciate Thank you. you. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. There you have it. Uh, we're going to be back with more East Texas now right after this break. Stay with us.